What's going on YouTube? Dave here from signalmore.com. So today we're going to talk about creating VMs in Azure quickly. So this is my current Azure subscription. You see I have a few VMs here. Uh, I found myself playing with them, screwing them all up, deleting them all, and then having to re-create uh, them all via the web interface, which is slow. So we're going to put all of our VM information in a CSV file. We're going to read that CSV file. We're going to create some VMs based on those values and in input. Okay, so first things first, you're going to have to log into your Azure account. This is how you do it via PowerShell. I've already done it in this shell session, so I don't need to do that here, but that's the first step. Let's look at our CSV file. So we've got a VM name, a location, interface name, resource group, VM size, and computer name. Uh, VM name is just what it's going to show you in the web interface. East US is just closest to where I am. Uh, you can obviously change the location based on where you are in the world. SP underscore int is just the name of the interface, the nick that I give it so I know what it looks like. Mine are all going in the same resource group, which is signal warrant underscore resource group. I do my all same size, basic underscore A2, and there's a link in the script to where you can get all that, the syntax for other sizes. And then a computer name, that's it. So in this case, we're going to create two, one named SP, one named SQL2. Okay, so let's look at the function before we uh, test drive this thing. All right, simple function. It takes one input, and that is the CSV file path. So in my scenario, this is my file path, so this is how I will call the function. First thing we're doing here is testing the path that you input to make sure it's still there. If it's not, we're going to error the thing out so it's not going to go any further. And if it's good, we're going to keep moving. So this credential, it's going to prompt you to do that when you run the function. That is going to be the username and password for each VM local login. And there's our CSV path. We're going to import it, run a for each loop. We're going to get your storage account information. This is the naming convention I use for the OS disk. Obviously, you could change this to whatever you want to change it to. And then we're going to create some network information. I already had a VM network in Azure, so I didn't have to create that piece. I'm just getting that one virtual network and I'm putting all my VMs in the same uh, virtual network. And interface, we're just doing a regular interface with a dynamic public and private IP. All right, so we're going to set the VM object based on that information we're pulling from the uh, CSV file. So the VM name, the VM size, computer name, all that good stuff. Uh, the virtual machine information, so down here you'll see that I statically put mine in here. You could obviously pull this out of the CSV also if you wanted to, but all mine are Windows servers. They're data, uh, data center 2016, the latest version. Uh, you could all, also put this stuff in the uh, CSV file so you could pull that also. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to, down here we run a new Azure RM VM with all the applicable information so it loops through every entry in the CSV file and then it'll create the, the VMs. So new Azure Lab CSV file path and there you can see I entered the wrong path Yep, my CSV has an S. So it's asking me for the local login. This will be the same for each VM. And now we're off and running. Now, for the power of editing, I'm going to stop the video here and start it back up once this thing is done. All right, so we're done. This is what you should get as the output of the function. So everything appears to have worked okay. Oh, by the way, real time, that took about 
26, 27 minutes to create two virtual machines in Azure. So there are my two virtual machines, SP and SQL 2. All right, so that's it for this video. I'm a Azure newbie, so anybody out there has some Azure experience, is there another way that we I can do this and make it go quicker? I see here that there is a cloud shell, but you have to have a storage account, and I don't have a storage account, and I don't want to pay for a storage account, so I'm trying to do this on the cheap. Is there another way I can massage this script to make this go quicker? So anybody with Azure experience out there, let me know in the comments or hit me an email, Twitter, however you want to do it. All right, thanks for watching.